I just poured water in my hands because I want to fix my ponytail. There's a trick that I learned. My scrunchie doesn't fit my ponytail all the way around three times, but if I wrap around twice, it's not enough. So I'm gonna see if I can show you how I do it. I go once, then I go twice, and then I take the ponytail and I split it in half so it's separated like that. And then I go back in with the scrunchie and wrap it around the front half. This is kind of a, a sloppy job and it might be too dark for you to see because why didn't I open the moon roof? <sighs> so I think you still can't see it's too dark. I don't know if this is a better view of my ponytail. It gives it a little more volume on the top. I'm uh, bringing you into Uniqlo. Did I mention I'm getting basics? I may have. showing you what I picked up from Uniqlo. I got an email with a delivery message, so I figured let me wait till today so I can go pick up the package and I'll just show you everything in one go. Plus, there was something I needed to exchange and I left it at home, completely forgot to bring it with me. So now I have it and I'll do that. Go to physical therapy, go exchange and show you everything in one go. little OOTD, wearing my vest from actually H&M my bag from Louis Vuitton. This hoodie is from Uniqlo and I'm wearing it with Fabletic sweatpants and my Louis Vuitton ankle pillow booties. Look at this cute little case. This is just the display. But look at this, the mirror and everything. Only thing, I'm not a fan of these colors at all. Not my vibe. That's so cute. Wow. Love this. Don't love I should have never parked by Nordstrom because look how cute this travel bag is. Inside, look at the sizes of this. Amazing. This one is a body scrub. Then this one is an anti-aging body balm. I'll be really interested in trying this one. And this one is their, what is it, body oil? I can't pronounce this at the moment. Some sort of algae bottom oil. This is an important mention. I love trying products that are clean, vegan, and cruelty-free, and it's also gluten-free. So those things are really important to me. Oh, and it's also made in California. Then I wandered over into the perfume section. I've already sprayed this all over me. It's Tom Ford Santal Blush. Love, love, love this fragrance. And the client advisor was so kind to hook me up with, oh, look at this, look at this. They don't carry Killian from what I saw. Um, I was in the Tom Ford section, but we had amazing conversation. Why can't I get these out? So I have here ombre leather, and I have here Frederick Malt Vetiver Extraordinaire. Then I got a plethora of Killian sample fragrances. This is unreal. Which one is this? These two are Forbidden James. This one is Bamboo Harmony in here. White Crystal, or Crystal, Crystal. And this one is, oh, okay, two are white crystal. Then, the piece de resistance is this one. Um, there's no name on it, and there's a specific reason for that. Oh, I cannot wait to talk about this one with you. Next, what I picked up from Uniqlo, I'm actually wearing this, I love their t-shirts, Supima Cotton, they are so well-made. They hold their structure after wash, after wash, and dry after dry. So I picked up two more. 
Oh, why did I do that? What was I thinking? I, I didn't want to get another one of this. I wanted the charcoal gray. There was a different color I wanted. Oh, don't tell me I have to exchange again. Let's get over that. Then these are the best underwear. I know it's a little awkward. Seamless, comfortable. It's like going commando without the breeze. Unbelievably comfortable. It doesn't cinch in anywhere. I think these are about $9.90 each. And the t-shirt, I bought this in the men's department. It's a lot less expensive, like 50% less. If you buy their t-shirts in men's, these were $7.90 and I usually pay $14.90. So going back to the men so that I can exchange this for the color. What was I thinking? I'll show you what I picked up from H&M. Remember, that was the package that came in the mail. I don't want to show you what I don't think is good quality. This is unbelievably well-made. I love how soft it feels. I bought this in a size medium. And <laughs> since I got hurt, I put on some weight that I lost last year. And a medium is fitting me very well. I also picked up, get ready for this. I don't think you're gonna be ready for it. How adorable are these boots? When I saw them, instant grab. Okay, I just had a conversation with Rami. I told her how when she did her review of the Louis Vuitton pillow ankle boots uh, versus the Prada ankle boots that are similar. I told her I saw it, I'd seen them in black and I wasn't about to get another pair of black boots <laughs> because I don't have enough feet. <laughs> well, anyway, this is not all black. I like how it has this accent of the beige with the sole. So there's also the adjustable pole and a, what is this called? This adjustable pole, elasticated pull and adjust rather than a tie. And actually the top is very reminiscent of the Louis Vuitton ankle booty. This would make a great dupe. It's a shame that this doesn't come in the khaki color that we have, but nevertheless, I, for $34.99, I could not say no to these boots. I had to get them. And it's so funny how closely, like you can wear, you can mix and match with everything. I love that. Now I have to go exchange that t-shirt. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I feel like there's something else I was supposed to show you. Oh, okay, so, all right, the hoodie sweatshirt. But you've seen it already because I showed it to you when I was returning at H&M yesterday. So that was another thing that I picked up from Uniqlo.